Hi, uh, my name is Mama Asli. In this video, I want to present a proposal for my research project, which is uh, Innovation in Agriculture, a digital approach to price stability in Malaysia. Okay, starting with the problem statement, uh, the agriculture sector in Malaysia grapple with the intricate challenge uh, of unstable commodity price manifesting from three uh, primary causes, which is supply chain, inefficiency, market speculation, and information asymmetry. For the supply chain uh, in inefficiency, this efficiency introduces delay and disruption, creating a ripple effect that contributes to market instability. For instance, this is this issue such as limited understanding and adoption of blockchain technology in supply chain management hinder the effective traceability impacting the community price. Uh, for the market speculation, detached from actual supply and demand dynamic. Uh, market speculation introduce artificial fluctuation in commodity price, further destabilizing the market. And for the information asymmetry, hindering uh, transparent decision making among market participants, informing information asymmetry exhibit challenge in controlling and stabilizing price, lack of transparency and accurate information disseminate dissemination within supply chain perpetuate the price fluctuation. Uh, next is uh, objective of the research is uh, first exp exploring the sustainable practice which is investigate the impact of sustainable practice on agri-food agri supply chain in Malaysia's agriculture sector. Second is analyzing price transmission mechanism which is analyze the dynamic of price transmission mechanism in agriculture market and explore the relationship at different level of the food change. And the third objective which is uh, harnessing big data for suitable supply chain. Harnessing the potential of big data for suitable uh, agriculture supply chain management and examine the role of big data in with the prediction, collaboration, performance optimization, and resource management within agri-food supply chain. Uh, next, we go to the research question. There are three research questions, which is uh, first, what are the key factors contributing to price fluctuation within Malaysia's agriculture sector? This is the exploration of supply chain inefficiencies, market speculation, and information asymmetry to comprehend, comprehended, comprehend in traced dynamic uh, flux influencing communities price. Second question is how can digital technology enhance coordination and control of supply and demand in agriculture market? This is a uh, focus on levering leveraging uh, real-time monitoring and uh, responsive intervention facilitated by digital platform of mitigate challenge associated with the price stability. Uh, and then for the third question is what collaborative strategy and stakeholder engagement are necessary for, for the successful implementation of the proposed digital platform? Uh, this is uh, consulting farmer, industry expert, and information provider to ensure a comprehensive understanding of contextual nuances and specific requirement for effective implementation. Okay, next is uh, the research hypothesis. First hypothesis is a deeper understanding of inefficiency. A deeper exploration of supply chain inefficiency, market speculation, and information asymmetry will uh, reveal intricacies contributing to price fluctuation in Malaysia's agriculture sector. Uh, second hypothesis is uh, technological intervention. The application of digital technology uh, particularly through a real-time monitoring and intervention platform can significantly enhance the 
coordination and control of supply and demand in agricultural market leading to the leading to more stable community price and the final hypothesis is collaboration for implementation another hypothesis was is that collaborative uh, strategy and stakeholder engagement involving farmer industry expert and informant provider will instrumental in successful implementation and effectiveness of the proposed digital platform further contributing to to the stabilization of community price okay for the research group is this uh, research will primarily focus on agriculture sector in Kuala Langat Selangor uh, detailed examination of factor influencing community price within the local context the key area of investigation is uh, in-depth exploration of supply chain inefficiency market speculation and information asymmetry drawing insight from article 4 5 7 and 8 and 12 within the local agricultural landscape extension of the scope is uh, explore of the application Applicability of digital technology, development and implementation of real time monitoring and intervention platform, uh, and then aim at enhancing coordinated coordination and control supply and demand agriculture market specific to Kuala Langat. Uh, crucial collaboration within the Pertubuhan Kuala Langat. Uh, active involvement in collaborative strategy and stakeholder engagement, and then instrumental for successful implementation of the proposed digital platform for the context specific recommendation and solution narrowing the scope of the scope to Kuala Langat for context specific insight contribution to to the development of localized strategy and policies fostering sustainability and stabilize stability within the agriculture market of Kuala Langat Selangor Okay, next is we go to the literature review. There are four topics in this literature review, which is first is supply chain inefficiency and community price. This will tell about the supply chain inefficiency, disrupt the delicate balance in agriculture food supply chain, blockchain technology limited to uh, integration exhibit uh, traceability challenge, uh, addressing inefficiency poster stability and resilient resilient price uh, structure uh, next is next topic we will cover a uh, market speculation price uh, which is the market speculation inf influence horizontal and vertical price relationship fluctuation and inland price uh, linked to market speculation impact the agriculture sector challenge in digitalization and supply chain market exploitation by market speculation and and uh, now now said understanding need for needed for effective policy making and risk management uh, the third topic will will cover in information asymmetry in agriculture market uh, which is the lack of transparency see in conventional supply chain system due to the information symmetry information gap in agribusiness value change hinder the effectiveness uh, and then we go to last topic which is the foundation for objective and hypothesis okay for the research design uh, this study employ a mixed method research design to truthfully explore the intrinsic surrounding unstable commodity price within the Malaysian, Malaysian agriculture sector. Uh, for the quantitative component, the objective is systematically analyze the historical market data and supply chain efficiency market. Uh, and for the qualitative component, capture nonsense pers perspective through in-depth inter interview and focus group discuss with uh, key stakeholders. And then uh, triangulation uh, objective uh, objective uh, for triangulation uh, this is to enhance the credibility and validity of the study by combining quantitative and qualitative findings 
uh, and then for the sample and population uh, participant will be selected deliberately based on their relevant relevance to the research objective and their direct involvement or expertise in agriculture sector and for the quantitative component a representative sample of historical market data will be collected from agriculture tra transaction in Kuala Langat and for the qualitative component the key information including local farmer representative for Pertubuhan Peladang Kawasan Kuala Langat and regulatory authorities will be purposely selected. Uh, for the instrument in qualitative will be the digital platform, digital prototype development and uh, second is data collection from digital prototype, complementary data from historical market uh, transaction record and then uh, instrumentation in, instrument for qualitative uh, which is the user feedback session and then open end question. Uh, this is the reference that used for this project. Uh, okay, that's all from me. Thank you.